Hey guys, in this episode of Chef's Place we decided to take you outdoor and show you the beauty of Swiss nature. Today me and my friends will show you how to cook traditional cheese fondue using campfire on. Sam? Yeah? What can you tell about fondue? For the people who never experienced fondue, they have no idea what it is. But we're gonna have today a cheese fondue where you dip uh, either bread or um, boiled uh, potatoes. But we're gonna have grilled potatoes, like on the fire, which is the Alex's twist. Today and is gonna be the classic, the classic, classic Vacheran uh, Gruyere. Vacheran Gruyere, moitié, moitié. Yeah, moitié, moitié. How do you say it in French correctly? Moitié, <laughs> moitié. So it's half, half. Half and half, exactly. So it's half Vacheran and half Gruyere. So it's the best mixture there is. There are two ways to to mix the fondue cheese. It's either with uh, with uh, white wine or with uh, kirsch, which is uh, um, cherry schnapps. I, I know there are also recipes with both, but including both. With both, yeah, it's when you want to get drunk. We're going to add as well muscat nut, grounded fresh black pepper, a little bit garlic. You're hungry I'm already? Good. So we're starting with the white wine, right? I'm also new for the fondue. So this is the fondue mix that we were referring to, Gruyere, 50% and Vacheron, 50%. They're half a half. How do you say it in French? Moitié, moitié. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Some recipes calling for cornstarch as well, but I don't think it's necessary. At this point, I'm adding freshly ground with black pepper and nutmeg. Basically, if it's gonna be overcooked, the emulsion will no, break no, really? and the fat will separate oh. and it's just gonna make a, a mush. But at this point, it just looks good. When it gets to the really high point temperature, we removed it from the fire. Fresh garlic, not a must, but recommended. Very nice with fresh garlic. Yeah. So using a fresh ciabatta. Hallelujah. Mm. By the way, who knows how the traditional fondue pot is called? C'est une caglon, ouais, ça c'est ça, c'est vrai. <laughs> French, French lesson from Sam. <laughs> so, <laughs> can, what, <laughs> what kind of fondue we had today? <laughs> oh, we had today uh, cheese fondue and we cooked it in a caglon. It was moitié, moitié, vachera et gruyère. Et ça c'est magnifique. Magnifique, okay. Salute. No, no more drinks for sale. <laughs> I will also try. Uh, no, Lena gave. Hey, you Lena. have to. <laughs> Lena gave. <laughs> so nice. The potatoes are uh, already oh, about 80% cooked. So potatoes are cooked already. <laughs> Guys, who's gonna try potatoes? <laughs> who's gonna try potatoes? I'm looking like I had a hot potato in my mouth. <laughs> Enrico? Oh. You remember yeah, Tulen again? He does, he does. Yeah, with potato it's not so easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second level. <laughs> with, with potato you can't learn again. You need to learn. You just... oh. Sam, so how was it you, for you? And for you? It was amazing! By the way, we didn't mention but the potatoes for fondue called... Schwelti! Schwelti! Schwelti. Schwelti. Schwelti, that's the kind of a potato. Schwelti is the art of cooking it. The it's art like, of cooking it. Yeah, it's like a boiled potatoes. Yeah, that, today not was boiled. not exactly. <laughs> it was more grilled potatoes. It was, it was baked, uh, baked, baked, baked potatoes. potatoes. Baked potatoes. It's an amazing time to spend with friends, outdoor. Now, when we are in the autumn, when autumn is uh, actually the start of season of fondue. Right? <coughs> yeah. 